Hello, my name is Annie Ng, President and CEO of HP Ingredients. Today, I would like to talk about the research and science of andrographis. Andrographis paniculata is a medicinal plant widely used in Ayurvedic tradition and traditional Chinese medicine for relieving and reducing symptoms of common cold, influenza, respiratory infection, alleviate fever, colitis, diarrhea, and so on. The active compounds andrographolite have been widely used in China and Southeast Asia for relieving symptoms of inflammation, fever, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, and upper respiratory tract infection. Now, let's talk about inflammation. There are many health imbalances that are caused by chronic inflammation. Don't get me wrong, inflammation is critical for our survival and is our body's natural mechanism to defend against bacteria, viruses, fungi, tumor, and other harmful agents. But overactive immune system and prolonged inflammation can cause the immune system to mistakenly attack the healthy cells. Andrographolite have shown potent anti-inflammatory property. What's the mechanism of action? Andrographolite inhibits nf kappa b the key regulator of our immune and inflammatory response system. When you can turn off nf kappa b you can reduce inflammatory cytokines and proteins that causes pain and inflammation such as COX-2, prostaglandin, interleukin-6, interleukin-12, interferon gamma, TNF-alpha, and so on. Recent research have also shown energetic effect comparable to Tylenol as well. But wait, that's more. Andrographolites also increase the NERF-2 KIP-1 antioxidant response element, the ARE pathway. What is that? We breathe in oxygen, which is O2. Our body's natural energy production and environmental stresses may lead to the formation of free radicals. That means the oxygen, which is O2, is now O2 minus. And these free radicals are chemically unstable this is where your body's antioxidants step in, mopping and clearing away all these free radicals. Oxidative stress occurs when there are just too much of these free radicals for your body to neutralize. Too much oxidative stress may cause damage to your DNA and activates nf kappa b which leads to inflammation. Endographolites, besides inhibiting nf kappa b it also activates the nerve to keep one ARE pathway. Endographolite increases the nerve 2 activity and binding from KIP1 so that your body can increase antioxidant proteins and enzymes such as glutathione, superoxide dismutase, catalase, and so on so that they can do their job get rid of all the free radicals, reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. Antiviral properties of andrographis. Our immune response system plays a very important role in controlling the replication and infection of virus. Viruses often bind to the receptor protein on the surface of the cell in order to enter the human cell. If we can block the signal pathway of the human cells required for the virus replication or decrease their protein expression, then we may show a certain antiviral effects. A simple search on PubMed will reveal many published research on andrographis and its antiviral research. Here's a phase one human clinical trial of andrographolite in 13 HIV positive patients reported a significant increase in the CD4 lymphocyte level and decrease the HIV RNA level. Andrographolites prevents the binding of the virus to T cells and suppresses the viral replication. Here's another study published in Phytotherapy Research 2005 showing the antiviral properties of andrographis as inhibitors of 
herpes simplex virus type 1. Another study published in 2008, andrographis extract and andrographolite inhibits the expression of Epstein-Barr virus. In a scientific report published on Nature September 2015, andrographolite showed good inhibition of chikungunya virus infection. This is a type of mosquito-borne virus that is common in Asia and Africa. Andrographolite was able to reduce the virus production without any toxicity. Another study published in 2009, in vitro study, had shown andrographolite to be effective against avian influenza A and human influenza A virus, possibly through the blocking of the viral binding to red blood cells. Here's a summary of the broad spectrum of antiviral properties of andrographolite, published in Archives of Virology, November 2016. Let's start from the top. Andrographolite inhibits the herpes simplex virus and chikungunya virus protein synthesis, inhibits herpes simplex virus from entering inside the cell wall, inhibits HSV1 glycoprotein C and D expression, inhibits hepatitis C virus protease and Epstein-Barr virus protein expression, inhibits hepatitis B and herpes simplex virus DNA replication, reduces the number of chikungunya virus RNA copy, restore tumor suppressor gene expression in HPV, inhibits HPV's glycoprotein expression, increases CD4 plus T cells in HIV-infected patients, and reduces the H1N1 influenza virus receptor signaling. In a preprint article, researchers in China were screening for antiviral drugs, biologics, and natural products to find possible candidates that can decrease the expression of ACE2. There are four traditional Chinese medicine that show significant ability to decrease the ACE2 expression, especially andrographis, full change, 21.57, urtica, nettle root, 11.59, sambucus, elderberry, 5.99, and astragalus, a little bit less than 3. Now, Let's review the human clinicals for andrographis on influenza. Over the last decades, andrographis has become very popular in Scandinavian countries as a treatment for common cold. Dr. Wan Hanke, scientific director of HP Ingredients, has been researching andrographis for the last 30 years. This are some of his earlier published research. In a study published in Phytomedicine 1997, 109 healthy university students were recruited during a cold and flu season in a double-blind placebo-controlled study. They were given 5.6 mg of andrographolite twice a day or placebo for three months. By the end of the trial, only 16 people in the andrographis group had experienced cold compared to 33 in the placebo group indicating that andrographis reduces the risk of catching common cold by a factor of two compared to placebo. There are three double-blind placebo control studies enrolling a total of 250 participants have found that andrographis significantly reduced the severity and duration of common cold. In a study published in Phytomedicine 1999, 158 adult patients already contracting common cold were given 1,200 mg of andrographis standardized to 5% andrographolite for five days. Andrographis was highly effective in reducing the occurrence and intensity of the symptoms, such as intensity and frequency of the cough, expectoration, nasal secretion, headaches, earaches, fatigue, sleep disturbance, sore throat starting at day two. There are three additional double-blind placebo control study enrolling a total of 400 people evaluating the effectiveness of a combination of andrographis and Siberian ginseng for common cold as well. Andrographis has also been compared to Tylenol. 
in a double-blind placebo-control study of 152 adults with sore throat and fever, participants received either 3 gram or 6 gram of raw andrographis herbs or Tylenol for 7 days. At day 3, the higher dose of andrographis decreased the symptoms of fever and throat pain to about the same extent as Tylenol. The lower dose of andrographis was less effective. Problems with cigarette smokers, including people who vape, is that excessive oxidative stress and damage can lead to compromised lung conditions, making them more susceptible to develop COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease caused by bacterial and influenza infection. In a study published in Journal of Natural Products 2016, they used mice that are exposed to cigarette smoke for two weeks prior to infecting them with influenza virus. This caused the mice to have pulmonary infiltration, cytokine storm, and heightened oxidative damage to the lung. Andrographolite is effective in reducing the lung cellular infiltrates, decrease the cytokines level of TNF-alpha, interleukin-1 beta, MMP8, and MMP9. The researchers attribute this to andrographolite's ability to significantly reduce KIP-1 in the lung. By separating KIP-1 from NERV-2, NERV-2 can then translocate into the cell and bind to the antioxidant response element. And this results in increase in antioxidant enzymes such as hemioxygenase 1, glutathione reductase, glutathione peroxide, superb oxide dismutase, and so on to help reduce oxidative stress. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndromes, ARDS, ARDS, is a respiratory failure with widespread inflammation in the lung, typically caused by severe septus, bacterial pneumonia, trauma, and burn. There are many studies that found that nf kappa b pathway play a pivotal role in controlling the inflammation in the lung. When your lung is inflamed, the vascular adhesion molecule VCAM, VCAM1, is increased, encouraging the inflamed cells to bind to the inside of your blood vessels. At the same time, when your lung tissues are not getting enough oxygen, Vascular endothelial growth factor, which is VEGF, is also increased to encourage the growth of more new blood vessels. But too much of the VEGF promotes leaky blood vessels, which leads to swelling and shortness of breath. Study had shown that nf B regulates both the VCAM1 and VEGF. And we already know that andrographolite inhibits nf B. In a 2013 animal and cell line study published on PROS1, andrographolite protects the lung by inactivation of nf B, significantly reduce inflammation in the lung. This is confirmed by the significant reduction of pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha, interleukin-6, and interleukin-1 beta. In addition, the expression of VCAM1 and VEGF was significantly reduced by andrographolite as well. Now, let's talk about how andrographolite can help with fibrosis. Chemotherapy can cause radiation-induced lung tissue damage. In the first few weeks, one typically develops radiation pneumonitis, and symptoms include shortness of breath, dry cough, feeling of fullness in the chest, and flu-like symptoms. Chronic fibrosis of the lung can occur after a few months or years later, and this can cause permanent lung damage. In a 2019 study published on cell death and disease, the researchers looked at mice that were exposed to radiation and have radiation-induced lung tissue damage. Andrographolite significantly reduced radiation-induced lung tissue damage and fluid in the lung. The researchers are also seeing reduction in inflammation, cell infiltration, 
and decrease in pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha. In the later stage, when the chronic fibrosis happen, mice treated with andrographolite are showing significantly less pro-fibrosis protein such as collagen-1 and also less pro-fibrotic cytokines, TGF-beta. Dr. Juan Hanke and his team of researchers in Chile have published numerous research on the mechanism of action and animal study on andrographis. Over the years, HP ingredients have improved the standardization of our andrographis extract, pyrectin, to 50% andrographolite. USDA organic version is also available. HP Ingredients has sponsored several human clinical trials with our pyrectin andrographis 50% andrographolite extract. In 2009, we published a randomized double-blind placebo control study in clinical rheumatology. 60 individuals with rheumatoid arthritis were given 100 mg of pyrectin or placebo in conjunction with metrotrexide three times a day for 14 weeks. Pyrectin was effective in reducing the number and total grade of swollen joint, the number and total grade of tender joints, as well as improving scores in the quality of life health questionnaires. In addition, pyrectin was effective in decreasing rheumatoid factors, C-reactive protein, creatine kinase, and fatigue score. In another human clinical trials published in Innovative Rheumatology, eight individuals with various arthritis conditions were given 300 mg of pyrectin daily for four years. Supplementation with pyrectin showed significant improvement in the number of swollen joints, total grade of swollen joint, total grade of tender joints, and quality of life score. Again, we are seeing significant reduction in stiffness score, rheumatoid factors, C-reactive protein, fatigue, and pain score. In May 2019, we published another double-blind randomized placebo control study in phytotherapy research. 103 adults with mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis were given either 300 mg or 600 mg a day of pyrectin or placebo for 84 days. Both pyrectin group show significant reduction in Womack pain score, stiffness score, physical function score, and the fatigue score compared to placebo. In 2016, Dr. Hanke, with a group of researchers in Chile, published a 12 month double blind placebo control pilot study with pyrectin andrographis extract showing significant reduction in fatigue in patients with relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis. Let me close by reiterating that andrographis is an immune modulator, meaning low dose of raw andrographis herbs may help stimulate your body's immune system. But if you're looking for andrographis to help maintain healthy inflammatory response system, activate your body's antioxidant response system and its antiviral effects, you are going to need about 300 milligram to 600 milligram of pyrectin andrographis extract. This is equivalent to three gram to six gram of raw andrographis herbs. Keep in mind that most andrographis in the market is standardized to five to 10% andrographolites. For more information on HP Ingredients Pyrectin Andrographis Extract, please contact us at info at hpingredients.com or visit our website, www.pyrectin.com. Thank you for watching.